Hello and welcome to Starlight Drive-In, a settlement I reserved specifically for the Wasteland Workshop add-on. My plan was to create a battle arena with a maze where the contestants run through the maze as a team, and then battle against monsters and the other team in the open. I wanted to begin by creating the frame for the maze and putting it in the middle of the settlement, so the puddle is in the middle. That seemed like the best idea. I had issues creating the floor of the maze because I wasn't able to align the fucking foundations properly, but then I remembered that I can make them stackable, so I got my hands on it and then the maze floor got built very quickly. The idea here is to have both sides go through an identical maze filled with traps and then once they're through the door they face each other and monsters that are in the open area. Since the edge of the inner side was big fat cement, I thought it would be better to replace it with the new concrete walls. I must say that the concrete items are very good, but considering that we already have half a million new items thanks to mods, it feels a bit underwhelming. I went ahead and finished placing cement around the open area of the arena and I also put concrete walls as the second block. We don't want any motherfuckers jumping out of the battle zone before they're done. One of the new blocks is this transparent mesh floor, which is one of my favorite blocks in the game now. Imagine taking a shit on this thing, you crouch and it just goes through and it even filters out large chunks so you can inspect the quality of your diet. I'd say it's very cool. In my initial plan, I wanted to add spectator chairs on both sides facing the arena, so I placed these mesh walls, which would allow the viewers to see inside without risking the contestants jumping out. And now the maze design. The game doesn't offer a lot of traps, but there is enough of them to create some interesting stuff. One trap has a trap door that has a pressure plate, which activates the flamethrower. I felt like that wasn't enough, so I added a spike trap under the trap door as well. The second trap is similar, but instead of a flamethrower, the pressure plate activates the saw. The third trap is a fake one, a tesla arc and a shotgun turret. The maze door is operated with a pressure plate, so once a person goes through the door, it closes and they can't go back. I also wanted to connect this pressure plate to the deathclaw cage that is waiting them outside, but in order to open the cage, I actually need to shut the power off, and since Fallout 4 doesn't offer such a possibility, I had to stab my sister instead. Speaking of deathclaws, the cages are operated in the control room that is located above the open area. Each cage is controlled with a large switch pylon, and they are switched off as soon as the first settler passes the maze. Then the death claws come running out. I scrolled through the items and noticed the laser trip wire, something I seemed to miss when I was building the traps, so I decided to remove the pressure plate that was activating the saw and replace it with the trip wire. Now when someone passes through, the saw gets activated and it keeps spinning as long as the trip wire is tripped. Also, remember when I said how the last trap is fake? Well, fuck that. I added another trip wire and connected it to both the Tesla Arc and the shotgun turret. I noticed how the backside of the settlement has a few buildings, so I created this small path that fits very well with the environment. These new concrete blocks look very nice. Too bad they didn't add some concrete rugs in the package. At this point, I was ready to test my battle arena, but I felt like turning it into a massive cage would have been a good idea, so I added the transparent mesh floors above it. This looked pretty grim when looking from within, but when I observed it from the outside and attempted to add some settlers, the entire thing went to it pretty fast, so I removed it. Before we test the magnificence of this great location, you'd probably like to know how exactly do the survivors leave this place. Well, I designed the exits to be very close and yet very far. The first door opens when the first switch is pressed, located in the control room. Once it opens, another door will be at the end of the hall. This end of the hall is also visible from the starting area, so all settlers can see the exit before they even begin the battle. As they get close to the second door, the second switch is pressed and they get greeted with the wall behind the door. You really thought I'd let them live? Hello and welcome to the first official settler battle arena of death and suffering, otherwise known as S-Bads. It is a beautiful day today, nice sunny weather, temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, and humidity is nice 50%. We have two teams of five participants, blue team that is called the Incapables and the red team that is called Shitbags United. These two teams need to navigate through this carefully and brilliantly crafted maze, only to end up being greeted by five radioactive undead men. These five men won the previous S-Bads, and since the only way to survive this battle arena is to die and be reborn again through the holy puddle of shit and piss, they did exactly that and are now waiting to fight for their freedom. Because of limitations of our budget, we weren't able to store these death claws within the cages, so they have been placed right next to them and they are waiting the start of the battle as well. This is unfortunate for the five undead motherfuckers because these death claws are going to rip their radioactive assholes to shreds. The settlers are ready, the piss has left the dick and it is time to begin. Any day now. And here we go, the undead men charged into the Deathclaws like brainless morons and the fight has begun. 
The settlers are still completely oblivious to the situation and refuse to move from their starting positions, but the monsters are throwing punches left and right. It looks like the Deathclaws have cornered one of the remaining green bastards and they are completely smashing his rotting piss face. Oh god, it looks like a Deathclaw has magically teleported outside of the battle arena. This is extremely bad news for our sponsors. Please stand by while we attempt to fix our technical problems. Welcome back to S-Bads, I apologize for the problems, we have now fixed everything and we are ready to restart the battle. We invoke the power of the gods to revert time and do slight corrections to the arena. There are now additional undead men located within the maze that should prompt the settlers to stop their obliviousness. And here we go, the undead men are rushing towards their deaths yet again and the maze bastard has triggered the trap onto himself which prompted the members of the incapables to react and go after him. The death claws have annihilated the glowing men and are now waiting for the settlers to finish the maze. Shitbags united are still standing still on their starting positions, refusing to move. It appears that we have a situation, the incapables have managed to reach the undead men and are shooting them while a trap is between them. They are continuously shooting at the undead man that is very resilient to the sh- Oh shit, we have lost a member of the blue team, he has gotten knocked the fuck out through a wall. Another member of the blue team is dangerously close to that same wall, apparently he is too fucking idiotic to realize that he might die very soon. Oh, what a hit, another man down for blue team, this is turning into a shit show, I can't even imagine what the death clause would do to these poor bastards. It looks like this is a complete disaster and our sponsors are asking for a complete shutdown and unfortunately we must comply and shut down all official broadcasts of S-Bads because of absolute uselessness of our participants. This is all very sad, but there is one important thing that we all must understand. This universe exists so things can be built, not used. I have a plan to add more things to the settlement, but the uselessness of the new items prevailed and I just don't feel like doing it anymore. I hope you enjoyed and I hope Bethesda starts working on the AI a bit more, because this is shit. Thanks for watching, I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt. <laughs>